city that has anything and everything you could possibly want in a vibrant capital. Visiting the home of the mother of all parliaments, your only problem is working out what you can miss. Truly, the city is too large, too rich in options for you to get into all in one visit, so you'll have to make some hard choices. So in this video, we're going to talk about the top 20 things to do in London. This video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Number 20. Climb up the O2 Arena The O2 Arena is one of the most legendary attractions in London, and there are several ways to enjoy it. If you're feeling adventurous, you can buckle up and climb up the 380 walkway, which reaches a height of 52 meters. There's also a studio inside the O2, where you can do many fun activities like commentating on a Premier League game, racing in a Formula 1 simulator, or umpiring for a cricket match. Number 19. Watch street entertainment at Covent Gardens. Full of street performers and quirky shops, Covent Garden is a great place to spend some time having a wander around and some window browsing. It is also home to plenty of restaurants and food stalls, the Royal Opera House, and the Transport of London Museum which offers free tickets for children. Number 18. Tower of London Built by William the Conqueror in 1066, this uncompromising slab of a building has been many things, including the site where Henry VIII ordered the execution of two of his wives. Now the tower is most famous as the home of the crown jewels. Number 17. Enjoy Instagram ops at the House of Parliament. This is an obvious one because you simply cannot come to London without snapping a photo of the iconic palace of Westminster. And since you've come all this way, you might as well do it right. For the perfect snap, you'll want to include the Thames at its feet at Elizabeth Tower, often referred to it by the nickname of the 13-ton bell it houses, Big Ben, overhead. Number 16. Attend a change of guard. While the insides of Buckingham Palace are a major attraction for visitors, to London of course, the changing of guards is a distinctive ceremony that attracts loads of visitors and admirers of the British royalty outside the palace. The ceremony is performed by the Queen's guards who are entrusted with the protection of Buckingham Palace. The new guard is handed over the responsibility for the palace by the old guard. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Let's get back to our topic. Number 15. Battle Dementors at Warner Bros. Studios At Warner Bros. Studios, you can come face to face with some of the magical creatures from the films, step inside Hogwarts Castle, and explore iconic sets like Diagon Alley and Platform 9 and 3 quarters. And for those looking to add a touch of magic to their vacation, there's also a studio tour where you can learn about the filmmaking process from start to finish. Number 14. Piccadilly Circus Piccadilly Circus is a lively round open space in Westminster and has been around since 1812. Though technically not a circus, Piccadilly is as bright and animated as one, being a meeting place of London's major shopping and entertainment areas. Piccadilly is particularly iconic for its bronze fountain and the neon signs on the surrounding building's facades. Number 13. London Eye the London Eye is a humongous ferris wheel situated right on the shore of the River Thames in the heart of London. When constructed, the London Eye was the tallest ferris wheel in the world. This allows you to hang out with friends as the wheel turns, which is probably why this is now the most popular paid tourist attraction in London. Number 12. Have a drink in Leadenhall Market the market site dates back to Roman times, but the current market was built there in the 14th century, so it's one of London's oldest. The Victorian architecture and stunning arches are so incredible that scenes from Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone were filmed here. This mix of movie magic and rich culture make it a must-visit for those looking for somewhere special to grab a bite, or a drink before shopping at the many boutiques, jewelers, and bookshops. Number 11. Picnic at Greenwich Park Head to the top of the hill in the center of Greenwich Park and you'll be treated to a spectacular free view of the city. The skyscrapers of Canary Wharf loom up behind the 17th century Queen's house and beyond. The Thames snakes its way into the heart of London. It's a perfect spot for a picnic in the capital on a summer's day. Number 10. Explore London's Black History London's Black History is rich and fascinating and stretches back several centuries. 
Begin your journey by joining one of the 12 walking tours in central London with Black History Walks. Then head down to the Docklands to learn about the capital's involvement in the transatlantic slave trade at the Museum of London Docklands before meandering south to marvel at the vast black archives at Brixton's Black Cultural Archives. Number 9. Get Cultured at the British Museum Displaying one of the world's finest collections of antiquities, the British Museum contains more than 13 million artifacts from the ancient world. With priceless objects from Assyria, Babylonia, China, Europe, and elsewhere, it's hard to know where to begin in this expansive attraction. Number 8. Camden Camden is a spot in London that has always been cool. From the swinging 60s to punk 80s to hipster millennials, it has always drawn an artistic crowd. Camden Market is a popular destination for shopping with a wide range of stalls selling everything from vintage clothing and accessories to art and crafts. Number 7. Explore the Barbican Conservator How about getting lost in the leafy large greenhouse in the iconic Performing Art and Exhibition Center? Spend an afternoon at the art complex which is part of a vast concrete estate. It is an icon of brutalist London architecture and also includes 2,000 covetable flats. It is home to the second biggest conservatory in the city and there is an indoor garden with 2,000 plant species. Number 6. Watch Tennis at Wimbledon Wimbledon is a leafy southwest London suburb that plays host to the world's greatest lawn tennis championship every summer. There's more to the Wimbledon than the oldest tennis championship in the world. It's home to a windmill and the fictional Wombles for starters, but summer is the best time to head to SW19. Number 5. Churchill War Rooms This is absolutely a must-do while in London. During World War II, Winston Churchill and his staff hunkered down under the streets of London and ran the war. In these bunkers, they were relatively safe from Nazi air raids. In this museum, tour the bunkers, see where they lived and slept, and learn about Winston Churchill. Number 4. Shoreditch Shoreditch is one of the trendiest areas of London, having recently undergone extensive regeneration. It is now one of the hottest nightlife spots in the city and one of the coolest places to stay in London. Packed full of bars and eateries, it's the perfect place to spend a day and an evening. Check out Trapeze, a circus-themed bar that serves endlessly inventive drinks out of popcorn tub-style cups. Number 3. Party in Soho As the hub of London's nightlife, Soho is packed with the trendiest pubs, theatres, restaurants, cinemas, and clubs. This district always attracts an evening crowd, so if you like the party and you're wondering where to go out in London, you've probably guessed that Soho is your best bet. Number 2. Live the spookiest experience at the London Dungeon Are you ready for a 90-minute scary ride through London's history? One of the most popular attractions in the city, the London Dungeon is a spooky and fun-themed park that will test your nerves. At the London Dungeon, you'll take a ride back in time with the help of a bizarre and terrifying mix of skeletons, murderers, hangmen, and many more scary characters that recreate the main events of the city's 1,000 years of history. Number 1. Coal Drops Yard Ever since the Eurostar undersea rail link between Paris and London rolled into King's Cross St. Pancras Station, the formerly down-and-out neighborhood of King's Cross has experienced a total transformation. Abandoned railway land is now lush with a new eatery or eateries, shopping, water fountains, apartments, green spaces, and more. There are posh supermarkets and converted train sheds. The coveted Central St. Martin's London School of Art and Fashion, artisan restaurants like Hike, and trendy ice cream shops like Ruby Violet. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked the video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.